Hi everybody, it's Diane. I'm working on the sewing books again and I am wanting to put in some of these window envelopes. I have an assortment of really cool envelopes that I don't use enough. These two are the seed envelopes from Target with the window. Um, I think I got these from Denise and at um, A Tattered Dream. And then these are ones that I carried in my shop for a while. So I'm not sure how much, how many of these I'm going to use in these journals, but I just thought I'd play around. The first one I want to do is this one. And I made a little template so I know what size to cut the card and where to center the picture so that it shows in the window. So I just cut the card and made sure it would fit in there and then measured this part and this part and cut, cut a hole. I actually cut right up here. I didn't want to have to cut a hole with a knife, so I just cut right up there and then added this little strip at the bottom. So I've got some pages from my vintage um, sewing pattern catalog, the counter catalogs. Now I made this one into a pocket, so I'm not going to cut that up. Well, that one might be cute, just having those two ladies right there. Those are kind of long. Mm. That one's super cute, but I'd lose her behind. That is super cute. I think I'm going to have to go with that. Can't see the pencil line. Oh, it's way up there. Way up there. This is from the 1960s pattern book. So I'm going to make sure it fits in there before I glue it to something else. Ooh. I wonder what I missed on the back. <laughs> That's adorable. I want to be able I want the person to be able to journal on the back. And I want to make it a little sturdier. have these six by six pages. They're double sided, but I don't care. I'll cover up the birds. I'm at my sewing machine without without all of my supplies. I've had Layla all day and her dad came and got her and I had to run to the post office and uh, deliver some cookies that I had promised for a benefit bake sale for somebody that I don't know. But I, a friend asked me if I would, so I did. So now, I finally, finally get a chance to come in here and do something, so I didn't really do a lot of prep time. <laughs> so I'm just going to get to get busy. So I turned on the camera, and here we are. So I apologize if that irritates you, that I'm not as prepared as I should be. I just don't know how much time I'm going to have in here.
that I not just take that part off that goes right there? Is it already off? It was already off. This is the part I lost on my old one. I don't want to lose it. But it needed to be, be replaced anyway. It just didn't work very well. Now if I can get this lined up and stuck on there. It usually doesn't take me this long. Of course it is now. There. Okay, sorry about that. I had forgotten that I ran out of that the last time. Well, I was thinking I would just stick it down in the center and then sew around the edges like I normally do. Oh goodness. Is this going to be one of those videos? But I got flustered and forgot what I was doing. That's okay. I don't need to sew around it because it's going to be stuck in a pocket anyway. So now there's a journaling card there, and when it goes into the envelope, you get her through the window. But we can't just leave it like that, can we? This is the little scrap of fabric that had various stitches on it. Is from the sewing teacher's notebook. I had to snip a piece of it off because I included it. I think it's in this book. I included it in the book, but it was too long. So I snipped a piece off, but I saved it. So we just have to pretty it up a little bit because it is just a gray envelope. Seems like they could have picked a prettier color to make them. That's okay. It's our job to make them pretty. Layla was a very good helper today. They're going on just a short little vacation uh, in a few days. And so she is doing chores for people, doing little jobs to earn some money for vacation. Because they're going to go to a mall and she wants to go to Build-A-Bear. And she's never been to Build-A-Bear. Adam and Teddy have been lots of times. right on that window.
So this will be paper clipped onto a page, I believe. Or I don't know if I'll put a, make a pocket for it, but I think I was going to put it on this page. I'll leave the, blank, the back blank so you can write on there. Yeah, I think a paper clip will be good there. I have this little strip of yellow fabric. I'm going to tie that on the paper clip. So anyway, she did some chores for me some money. She got some money for helping me with the beads the other day when she was here. And she mopped my kitchen floor today and took my garbage cans out back after the garbage man emptied them. And she swept in the foyer. So she was a busy little girl today. She still had time to play though. So we might as well make one for the other book while we're at it. at my sewing machine, but I'm not even using my sewing machine for this project. What do I do with my template? There it is. Oops, sorry. That one's the envelope. Sacrifice. I hate sacrificing all these gorgeous illustrations. But I like her. I like her, but she's not centered. She'd have to be like that. That wouldn't work. And this one would have to be like that. Because I cut her down too much. I was just going to put it in like a little page. That way I wouldn't lose them. Oh, let's see. I don't know. I guess I'll use those too. That is upside down. So that it's not going to work. I'm going to have to get another page. Excuse me. something. I forgot the year. Those are way too big. Well, she... I 
like her, but she's not up high enough. I like her. That's a possibility. I like her. That pattern was 75 cents. I don't have the date in here anymore. That page is gone. So if you remember me telling you about my cousin's college-age son that was riding his bicycle and was hit by a car, um, I don't know if I gave you an update, but he uh, had a broken jaw and other injuries, and I don't know what the other injuries were, but I got an update yesterday or the day before that he is able to go back to college but won't be able to play soccer which he was really hoping to do and the reason he can't play soccer is because they have to break his jaw again and line it up properly because his teeth aren't lined up the way they should be and so he'll have to have his jaw wired shut again for Four to six weeks, I think they said, poor kid. But, you know, could have been worse. Isn't she lovely? Hey, that sounds like a Stevie Wonder song. And now it's in my head. just got my little dish of bits in here. See what I can find. Oh, I love this polka dot.
Okay, I'm still here. I'm just being quiet. I'm trying to wind down after having Layla here. She was very, very good. She wasn't uh, hyper or anything. She was really good, but, you know, we were busy cleaning and stuff and making cookies and I'm just winding down now. So I apologize for my silence. But every time I apologize for my silence, you guys tell me it's it's fine that you just like to watch. So thanks for that. I want that blue to show because <clears throat> it matches her dress. Okay, I think we're set. These are really fun pockets, but it's because the images are so cool. I just love those 60s images. Our weather is so nice today. I think it's only in the 70s and it's breezy. So it's really nice. Layla and I sat on the porch for a few minutes. My freshly power washed porch on the porch swing, so it was quite nice out there. I'm hoping I can have a few minutes to do that maybe after dinner time this evening. All right, so that one is for the next journal. I wonder if I should do something with one of these too. Let's go further back. printed some of these on paper and some on cardstock. <clears throat> so if they're going to be glued down to something, of course I try to remember to use the paper ones. can't sew this to the envelope, of course, but I can sew this to the fabric 
and sew around the card and then glue everything down. Fabric wants to curl. And I think I need to put a button there or else one of my little flower appliques. I've got my vintage flower appliques in here. I just threw these little spools in here because I didn't know where else to put them. I haven't forgotten. I've got to get some of these listed in the shop. Um, quite a few of you, a lot of you actually, responded that you were interested in them. And I'm selling them in bunches of five and I only... There aren't as many in that basket as it looked like in that box. So the first three people that responded wanted 10 and 10 and 5. So that pretty much takes care of the spools that I'm selling. These are the ones I'm keeping here. So I haven't forgotten, ladies. And if they don't respond to me when I let them know they're in the shop, if they don't respond to me within five days, then I'll go to the next person on the list. But I just haven't gotten around to putting them in the shop yet. But I will, I promise. And I think I'll just leave that the way it is so you can journal wherever you want to and put something in there. If I have another fabric strip, or if I have to make one. That one's too stiff, I think. I love that. It's very vintage. just shut off. That's why it got quiet in here. Maybe that's just a little too wide. I want to make some pockets in here, I think. I have this card that 
needs a pocket. What did I put in here? Oh yes. Did I show you this? I don't remember if you were watching when I did that. It's a page from this book, actually. And I just sewed around this tabbed index card for journaling on it. And I made this little pocket with one of the um, flashcards. I cut it out with pinking shears, sewed it to that, and made a tiny little pocket and then tucked in some of the cardstock ones. There's the paper clip I, I made with one. That's the only one I made, so I need to make some more of those. I didn't want to use one of these for the items that I just put on because those are too decorated and I didn't want to cover. I didn't want this to compete with the decorations on the other cards. This is just plain. I just sewed a journaling card on that. Let's put a pocket here. Oh, there's a pocket right there. Maybe we don't want two pockets close together. This I just sewed onto the page. I don't know if I did that on camera, but I liked the blue. I printed the the um, flashcards out on two different patterned papers. This was a mottled blue, and the other one was that pink damask. But I love the color with this and this fabric, too. Did that little fabric flip. Let's put the pocket right on the back of that. Papers here. I love this one. It would go nicely with that. This is an Anna Griffin design paper. I think it came from Hobby Lobby in um, a batch of when they do um, clearance of the single sheets, they put them all together into a bundle of 50 sheets or something like that. 25 or 50, I don't remember. Why am I doing that? I want to cut this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so you don't know what you're getting when you buy it, but I saw this right on top one time and I, and I loved it, so I bought it and I got several sheets of it. So pretty. Where do I want to cut that? But I probably won't do that again. It's a good price for all the paper, but like the last one, um, it, somebody had torn the side of it open so I could actually look in and see what was there, and there were some papers that I really liked. And there were some papers that I wouldn't use, but um, I got it because there were enough of the ones that I liked. But you get so many of the ones that you like, you don't really need that many of one sheet. So I probably won't do that again. I want to put something across the top there. Something that won't compete with the pretty design, but just add a little strength to the top and add a little texture.
brush the bobbin thread. Not there. Oh, ran out. Wouldn't you know? When I want to sew. Well, we're at 35 minutes. I'm going to stop the camera, wind the bobbin thread, and then come back. I'll see you soon.